Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing this bold spring look. I tried out some new liners today and I just wanted to kind of do something more bold and spring. So that is this. So if you guys want to see how I got this look and what I used and da 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 da, then please keep watching. I'm getting ready for my day and I don't think, I didn't feel like doing my hair prior to this, so. I think the light should be on, right? I'm getting ready for the day. I'm gonna do my hair later on, but I was in the mood to film and I was like, let me take advantage of it, so. I always do this. I always open my brow whiz backwards. Does anybody else do that? No? Okay. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whiz in medium brown and I'm just gonna fill in my brows like. Yes, I'm watching YouTube while doing my makeup. If you don't, are you crazy? No, I'm kidding. But Okay, so the brows are kind of filled. I'm going to take my e.l.f. camo concealer in the shade medium neutral. I have like three of them. Um, it's my favorite concealer. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that and then I'm going to just take my beauty blender that is obviously damp and I'm going to go ahead and just blend that out. I feel like this isn't the best camera angle because my mirror is here and I'm not looking at the camera, but I've switched some things in my room around, so I'm trying to figure it out. I'm gonna go ahead and take my ColourPop X Lizzie McGuire What Dreams Are Made Of palette. Okay, and I'm gonna go into Done and Done, which is like a really like neutral peachy brown. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. So I'm applying it from the inner quarter to the center of my lid. So just like this. Not taking it all the way out, but just into the center of my lid. And next I'm gonna move on to eyeliner, so I'm kind of excited today. Okay, I'm a little too close, hold on. I think that's good, okay. So today I'm going to be trying out Glam Vice Cosmetics. If you've never heard of them, they're basically really known for their retro liners, which are water activated. And I'm super excited to try them out. So I got a pack of them. They didn't come like this. They came very pretty, but I got about like six, I think, or eight. And it also comes with the brush. So I'm going to go ahead and take Roller Skate. And I've already wet my brush, so it says to wet your brush beforehand. Kind of want to make the liner pretty thick, so. So initial thoughts, I think that this is super interesting and I'm happy that I got them. Because this is different from something that I've ever used before. So it looks like that. It also instructs that after you use it, let it dry before closing it and stuff. So I'm gonna follow the directions. I don't wanna ruin it, but I really, really like it and I think it's super cool. And I like that it's like the standout. So I'm going to leave my eyes alone for now. I'm going to move on to the face. I'm going to go in with my Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer. That was a lot. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and just apply that all over my skin. One of the best primers I've ever used if not the best okay hold on i put a little too much i gotta blend this in because so next i'm gonna go into the morphe the filter effect soft focus foundation and tan 
filter tan 17. So I'm just gonna, no, I don't feel like putting it on me. So I'm gonna put it on my beauty sponge. Just gonna go ahead and apply and blend. I'm really loving this liner. It's not drying patchy at all. It's kind of pretty. I do have a video coming out of like trying like makeup products that are new to me and this liner is definitely going to be in it but I'm filming it after filming this of course so I'm just going to use a different color in it because like I said I have like six to eight shades so just a heads up when I do my full face of new makeup which I'm so excited about because I don't know like playing with new makeup I think is like such a fun thing. <laughs> So next I'm going to go into my e.l.f. Camo Concealer, again in shade medium neutral, and I'm going to use that to highlight my face. Now I'm going to go into my Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in the shade Cool Beige. I've been really liking this. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use that to set kind of underneath the eyes and the places where I just applied the concealer and the concealer only. I feel like I have more of a routine, like, down packed, like, so I'm kind of like... So why are we going to use something else to set the face? Because I normally use just, like, my Maybelline Fit Me, but... I have something up my sleeve. Now I'm gonna go into my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in tan, 40. I'm gonna just put that all over my face using this Sonia Kashuk brush. So I'm really just putting it where I didn't use the Derma Blend powder. And I really like this powder. I think it's so pretty. Um, I was trying to use the MAC I was trying to find the MAC one. I don't remember what it's called. Was it Fix Plus Powder? So I don't know. But um, I couldn't find it in my shade, so I decided to go with this one, which I think is a little bit cheaper. But I like it. I think it gives a nice little finish to the skin, and I like it for setting my makeup. But like I said, you guys will see more of this in my video of trying out new makeup products. So I'm going to go into my Kylie Bronzer in shade Tawny Mommy. And I'm going to take my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH07. Am I though? No. Sorry. That's going to be my blush brush. I'm going to use my e.l.f. powder brush. I'm just going to apply her. So I've noticed that sometimes when I really like go in heavy and I apply it to my jawline, like it just looks off. Like you'll see the difference between my foundation and that powder here. Even though we're wearing masks, but marrying mask we're wearing masks i don't know i don't like that so i just kind of bronze and contour where i need to and then i take the excess and do the jawline because i feel like it just blends more smoothly maybe it's me maybe it's maybelline i'm gonna take my beauty bakery the neapolitan bar and now i'm gonna take that jacqueline hill jh07 brush and i'm gonna just Use the blush shade, smile, and add it to the cheeks. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start like finishing off the eyes. So I'm gonna go into my Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara. I love this one. I think it's just the best mascara. I love the wand, the shape of it and everything and just what it does to my lashes. I feel like being weird and adding black dots like right here. I literally have no idea what that will do for me. I don't know what it did for me. I don't know what I thought it was going to do for me, but I did it. I'm going to go ahead and set my face um, with my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the D-Slick one, or the oil control. I'm going to go bold. This is a nice spring look. So I'm going to add this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Cross. I'm going to add that to the outer portion of my waterline as well. So kind of mid to outer. I'm 
I love ColourPop liners, so I'm gonna go back in with the Lancome Lash Doll Mascara and apply it to the bottom. And last but not least, we're gonna last but not least. Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and go into the lips. So I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place lip liner in the shade Cola really love it tammy clark was the one who put me on love her on youtube um she talked about their lip line when it first came out and then i was like hmm and she talked about the shade cola i was like hmm and then i tried it i said my girl steered me in the right direction like i think this is like the perfect brown for me when it comes to like my favorite nudes I really don't see myself going or reaching for another colored lip liner I mean besides the NYX one and the elf one but the elf one comes in the package for the retro paradise I'm like I don't have time I don't want those other shades I just want the brown elf let's work on it I'm gonna add some of my concealer onto the middle of my lip just a tad If you guys watch me know that this is like my go-to lip combo but I found a new nude that I like to put on top so I'm going to use the KKW um, lipstick in nude one and I think it just makes like the perfect I don't know perfect ombre perfect nude lip and lately I've been adding the buxom lip plumper to the middle so let me show y'all my little magic so i used the shade pink champagne from the buxom line which i really love i think it's a pretty pinky tone and it doesn't look crazy on me because things can look a little crazy but so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this just to the center of my lips to give it that cute little pout Do y'all see what that does? It just makes everything look perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face again to be sure she's in place. And that is it for this video and this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Of course, turn on your post notification bell. This is the first of many videos coming your way. I'm really dedicating myself to filming more, so I literally do my makeup every day. So I might as well film it, and I feel like I'm getting a little creative, especially with the new liners that I bought from Glam Vice. So I'm excited, so stay tuned, guys, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.